Okay, so Realme X2 Pro. It is one of my most favorite devices of all time. And it's also the reason why I wouldn't recommend Realme or why I don't consider Realme when I'm choosing some new phone. So let's get into it. Okay, so this phone uh, came out at late 2019. In uh, Europe it came at early 2020. I got it as soon as it came. I had it for a long time and then I sold it. Then I bought it some time ago. Then I sold it again. And then I found it like a few months ago to buy it for a very, very cheap price. And that's around 150, 60 euros. And I just couldn't resist to get it. But it only uh, it only made me sure that I don't want to have Realme phones anymore, and I'll tell you why later. But now let's let's start with the good stuff, okay? So this phone is great. I mean, it was way ahead of its time. Uh, okay. So what do you get for decent amount of money when it came out? I think it uh, costed like 500 euros, maybe even less. I don't know. Maybe let me see. Yeah, GSM Arena said around 450 euros. For, so, for 440 euros, sorry, what did you get? You get 6.5 inches Super AMOLED screen with 90 Hz refresh rate and uh, 1200 nits of peak brightness. Um, I think that's a bit overblown the number, but somewhere around 800 was probably right. Okay, so you get a great screen. As for the CPU, you got uh, Snapdragon 855 Plus, that still is one of the most capable CPUs out there, and it's still really fast. It, everything you throw with every, every game, everything it will work just great. Okay, I tried Diablo Immortal and some other games, and it uh, works great. So you get great performance and for CPU. As for the RAM and memory, get this: 12 gigabytes of RAM. And 256 gigabytes of internal storage, and the it's ultra fast storage 3.0. Okay, 2019, late early 2020, 12 256 ultra fast storage 3. Okay, as for the camera, you got a quad camera setup. The main camera is 64 megapixels with f 1.8. And it is the same sensor size as, let's say, Mate 20 Pro, P30, P30 Pro. For the zoom camera, you got 13 megapixels, f2.5, with around 50 millimeters simulation. So that's a real uh, two times zoom camera, not a uh, shitty digital crop you get in the newest Realmes and Xiaomi's. Okay, that's one of the reasons I don't buy new Xiaomi's and Realmes. Uh, third uh, camera is uh, 8 megapixel f2.2 with autofocus. Yeah, so you used to have autofocus on Realme's camera, ultra wide cameras, and you also have depth sensor, but that's unimpressive. As for the video, you could record HDR video with it, okay? You could record uh, 4K video with it up to 60 frames per second, and it's somewhat decent video during the evening. All these Chinese manufacturers have. Terrible video, at least they used to, I didn't try the newest models. But during the day you get really, really decent video. As for the battery, you got 4000 milliamps, okay? It's small when you look at it now, but for 2019 it was normal, a normal size of battery. But what was not normal for 2019 is 50 watt fast charging, okay? So that's like half an hour from 0 to 100%. Okay, this, this uh, sample I have here, I think his battery health is around 80%, but I'll still get like 5 hours of screen on time with everything turned on. What else? Stereo speakers. You get stereo speakers. One is uh, one is with the uh, headset, second one is at the bottom. You get 3.5mm jack. Yeah, that's right. You get 3.5mm jack that you don't get on any, on any newer devices. And the uh, fingerprint scanner is just so fast so yeah as you can see very fast extremely fast and it also has a face unlock i didn't know did i put it in let me see just a second yeah i did but one moment 
as you can see it unlocked you can see the little unlock function here so yeah very fast fingerprint scanner and very fast face unlock and that's all good uh, what's even better is that this phone supports gcam and it supports gcam on all of its lenses so you have it on main lens you have it on two time lens and you have it on ultra wide lens and it's faster than pretty much every other phone so you can see it runs uh, when you take a shot it doesn't take it too long to let you move to the another lens that was my biggest problem with, let's say show me me not 10. so yeah you have everything great screen decent battery life great performances plenty of ram plenty of storage you have a uh, somewhat decent software if i might say that supports uh, call recording multi windows or everything there you can adjust icons it has this that uh, Huawei phones don't have. It's a great piece of software. And that is the reason why I wouldn't recommend to buy Realme phones. Okay, this phone is perfectly capable to run Android 12, Android 13. And I have it on Android 10. Okay, as you can see, Android version 10. Yeah. So, why do I have it on Android version 10? That's simple, because if you update it to Android version 11, you lose support for Gcam. It will work only on primary camera. So if you want to have it on secondary cameras, like telephoto and ultra wide, nope. And why did I update it to Android 12? Well, because there is no Android 12 update for this phone and there will never be. That's right. Realme decided that this phone doesn't need Android 12. So if you want fully functional Gcam, you can stuck at Android 10. If you want newest available software for it, you get Android 11 with poorer battery life and unsupported Gcam. And if you want Android 12, you can go for yourself. And there it is. That's the one reason why I will never buy a Realme phone again, unless, unless they promise at least four years of updates, four years of new Android versions, because I have phone that is perfectly capable to be my primary device for the next few years, but since it won't get a new version of Android, I don't care that much about it, but I will not use it because of principle. Okay, uh, let's see uh, camera. So camera, as I said, is triple camera setup, and I have to say it's very good. When you check it, the Dexo Mark, it has unbelievably low scores, and I don't know why, because even the main camera, I mean non G cam but still camera, has decent image quality. So you have a uh, normal setup like any other android so here you can switch from front to back here is video option uh, to change video resolution you have to go to settings and then change video resolution to 4k 60 frames per second but when you change when you choose 60 frames per second the ultra wide camera is not supported but i guess it is what it is you also have a portrait mode video you have hdr video and you have a super stable video that works nicely as for the photos it takes uh, 64 megapixel shots and binds them to 16 megapixel uh, shots and the quality is uh, decent there's also dedicated uh, night mode and there's a dedicated 64 megapixel mode uh, when you're using a night mode you can also enable uh, tripod mode and it will keep uh, shooting for a longer time longer exposure and you will get better result uh, there's also Panorama Expert Mode. Expert Mode uh, supports only uh, only uh, zoom, uh, only one X camera. And oh no, look at this! It supports also ultra wide. And let me see. Yeah, it supports two X camera. I will try to shoot a few photos with the Expert Mode tonight, so I will uh, implement them here somewhere in the review when I montage it. And yeah, let's see other thing. Shutter speed can go up to 32 seconds. Well, that's great. ISO value, 3200, okay. As for autofocus, okay. You can do it manually. Yeah, great. Uh, oh, this is back to auto. Oh, nice. Nice switch here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, decent image quality from stock camera, but if you want really good shots, you go to the G-Cam, and all these photos you're seeing on your screen here are mostly taken with uh, uh, Gcam. So to conclude, uh, 
me for not uh, updating this phone to Android 12 or more. And I will probably keep it for some time to have fun with Gcam and stuff like that. But then it will frustrate me because I know it is phone that deserves more and probably I will sell it. Okay, thank you for staying this long. See you uh, at another time.